Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Supreme Guru here, back with another video for you guys. This time, we're going to go through the settings of WhatsApp. A lot of people come to me and ask me, how do I do this on WhatsApp? How do I do that on WhatsApp? And I thought, why don't I just put out a video and sort of show you, the user, how to actually do these things. So, let's get started. First of all, I'm in my settings of my WhatsApp app. Okay, here, so you can see we've got a few other settings. So we've got account, we've got chats, notification, data usage, and contacts. Let's start out with the first one. So the first one is account. In account, you get more subcategories of settings. So in the first setting, we've got privacy. Let's go in here. So who can see my personal info? The first option that we have here is last seen. Now, if you have this section turned on for everyone, then it means that everyone can track when you were last on WhatsApp. Or you can hit my contacts and select uh, certain contacts to view whenever you were last on WhatsApp. For me, I select nobody because I like to have a bit of privacy. I don't like things to become too intrusive in my life, especially when it comes to my phone. So I'm just going to keep that at nobody. Okay, so profile photo. To me, it's not a big deal who sees my profile photo. So I've just got that selected for everyone. Again, you can do the same thing, go into my contacts or nobody. About. Okay, so in this about section, you can let everyone see what you're doing. Um, or again, my contacts or nobody. So again, I don't really care if I've put up a little notification and it says on holidays or at work. I, I, I want everyone to see that. So I'm just going to keep that at that. Okay, status or status, however you want to pronounce this. I don't use this option. I was just testing it probably about a month or two ago, whenever it first came out. And to me, it's useless in my opinion. Um, but for you guys out there, I don't know if you use this. So um, you can put up a little um, update of what you're up to. So say, for example, going on holiday, leaving um for the airport now so then whenever you put out that little um status update you can only share it with certain contacts you can share it with all your contacts except certain people or you can just share it with all your contacts again choose the setting that you want to use for this it's not a feature that i use on whatsapp okay so now that we've got that uh, in this grey box, you can see if you don't share your last scene, you won't be able to see other people's last scene. That's fine. Okay, if you get the, um, you know, WhatsApp messages coming through from someone that's really annoying you and doing your head in, then in here, you can select um, their name and number, and then you can block them. Blocking them means that they won't be able to call you or send you messages. Happy days. I don't have anyone on my um, WhatsApp contact list that annoy me, so I've selected that for none. Red receipts. I've got this ticked. So whenever you send a message to someone, you get you, you notice those two ticks that you get at the bottom. Um, first of all, they show grey whenever you've sent it. And then whenever the person has read your message, they turn to blue. So... I like to know whenever someone's read my message. Again, it's the same concept that if I turned this off, I wouldn't be able to see um, other people's uh, read receipts. So I'm just going to keep this option on. So that's the privacy settings. Let's come out of there and let's go into security. Okay, so again, uh, I think this happened maybe a year, maybe two years ago. WhatsApp became a lot more secure. Your messages and calls are secured with end-to-end -end encryption, which means WhatsApp and third parties can't read or listen to them. So, you know, that's brilliant. That's just letting you know that WhatsApp is going to be a lot more secure than it was. And you don't have to worry about, um, you know, your messages leaking to third parties. Two-step verification. I don't use this. Change number. If you wanted to um, change your mobile number, but keep your same whatsapp profile with the same contacts then you can use that setting in here and 
at the bottom you can also delete my account. Okay, so that's the account section. Let's go into chats. Okay, so in chats, um, you can select the enter key or the return key on your keyboard to send a message. Um, or you can select the enter key. No, hold on. <laughs> I got that mixed up. Enter key will add a new line. So you can keep this on for adding a new line instead of it sending a message. Again, I just don't touch that. Um, okay, font size, brilliant. You know, you can change between small, medium and large. Um, it's a nice little feature. Chat backup, I get this I get this asked to me all the time. How do I back up my messages? How do I transfer my WhatsApp messages to my new phone? So on and so on. So in here, you can see backup to Google Drive. You can select it for never, only back up when I tap back up, daily, weekly or monthly. I keep it up weekly. You select whatever you want to do there. Um, select your Gmail account that you've got and back up over Wi-Fi. I don't include videos because I get a lot of GIFs sent to me from my WhatsApp groups, so I don't want them backing up. And up at the top here, it tells me about my last backup and the size of the backup. So whenever you first do this, um, it backs up. If you're changing phone and you put in your Google email address and then you reinstall WhatsApp, all your messages will come back because they've been backed up to your Google Drive. Okay, chat history. You can email your chat history, archive all chats, clear all chats, or delete all chats. I don't really go into that. Okay, so that's in the chats. Let's see, notifications. Yeah, I get a lot of people coming in and saying that my message tone and my WhatsApp tone is the same, so I can't decipher between it's a, whether it's a WhatsApp message or whether it's just a normal text message. So this is where you'll want to go if you want to change your tone for WhatsApp. So message notifications, there you can select the tone. You can select vibrate. Uh, you can give it a pop-up notification and you can also change the color if you've got a little indication light at the front of your phone. Group notifications, again, you can chop and change so that a group notification gives you a different sound and then your ringtone. Again, if you're getting a normal uh, call coming through and your WhatsApp call notification is the same, then in here, that's where you would change that. So that's notifications. Data usage. This is the main one I get asked all the time. So how to turn off the pictures and the videos that people send you in WhatsApp downloading straight to your gallery. So media audio, auto download. I have no media selected. That doesn't mean that I can't see the media. The picture that comes through will be blurred out. And if I want to download it, I just click on the picture, then it will download. So then I can decide what I want to see. Um, it, it means that my gallery and my phone is not being used up by so much storage with all the chats that um, I have on WhatsApp. So here you can select photos, audio, videos, and documents. And again, when connected to Wi-Fi, I just keep all these off. You select what you wanna do with that. And there it is, folks. That is a tutorial on the settings in WhatsApp. I hope this has helped at least one person out there. Um, I love giving, sorry, producing videos so that I'm helping you, the user, um, to find it a bit easier to do things like that because we, we live in a world that is so tech crazy and it's changing and evolving every single day. And sometimes it's hard to keep up with that. So I'm gonna be doing more videos of this style so that I'm helping at least someone out there. So if you like this video, obviously give it a little like if you have any questions, put that down in the comments section below. And if you didn't like it, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to help some people out there.